Today we'll see ants patrol, unaware that something undetectable lurks nearby. Followed by an epic battle between beetles, that will leave us breathless. In a place where the earth itself seems hungry, and nature offers no second chances, every creature fights for its place in a world that neither forgives nor forgets. Here the weak vanish, and only the clever leave their mark. While the Messer ants tirelessly gather their food, something hidden beneath the soil tracks their every step. A silent watcher, sensing every vibration of their march. Beneath their feet, something waits in silence. So subtle, so perfectly hidden, that even the most seasoned scouts fail to sense its presence. But before we continue, we'll witness an epic battle between beetles, fiercely competing to claim the precious treasure left behind by others. They are true masters at finding value where others see only waste. These beetles, Scarabia soccer, aren't exactly good neighbors. When they find a treasure, sharing is not part of the plan. We see how the first beetle to find the prized piece of dung, recognizable by being covered in flies, defends it with fierce determination. He has already driven off several rivals, but he must act quickly because the scent will attract new challengers eager to test him. The commotion is so loud, even the other creatures flee in alarm. These beetles can detect the scent of dung from nearly 200 meters away, thanks to their incredible sense of smell. Our beetle flyback won't get far before the others find out. His true mission is to outsmart them and carry his prize to a safe place, a task that seems simple but is truly a challenge. He needs the piece of dung to bury it in a secret spot where it will later serve as vital food for the next generation. These beetles aren't just strong, they're expert navigators. They use starlight and the Milky Way to find their way. Yes, even a ball of dung can travel guided by the cosmos. In 2013, a group of scientists from Lund University, Sweden, discovered that some dung beetles, including Scarabaea sacer, use the light of the Milky Way to navigate true star travelers on Earth. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. These projects take many hours of work, and your support would truly mean a lot to me. In this species, it's the male who crafts and rolls the dung ball. Then he searches for a female willing to join his mission. If she accepts, they bury the treasure underground, where the next generation will be born. Inside the buried ball, the larva grows by feeding from within. In just a few weeks, it will complete its transformation, and a new beetle will emerge to continue the cycle. Beneath the ground, a new life is about to emerge. But not every creature dwelling in these sands seeks to create. Some lie in silence, awaiting the next unsuspecting traveler. Let me introduce you to the ant's worst nightmare, the ant lion. Despite its name, it's neither an ant nor a lion. It's the larva of a neuropteran insect, known for its fierce jaws and perfectly built sand traps. From its hiding place beneath the sand, the ant lion waits motionless, ready to strike at the perfect moment. Any creature that steps into its trap will fall into an abyss from which few ever escape. Anyone who falls into its trap will be swallowed by the earth itself. But there's another creature that amazes me even more, with the simplicity of its form, the larva of this ant lion. This larva doesn't yet have the trap-like fangs it will develop later, but it's just as effective. How does it succeed? Its behavior is identical to its later larval stage, its sand traps, its hunting technique. Everything remains the same, and when an unfortunate insect falls, it strikes with an unrelenting grip. 
Once it captures its prey, the ant lien larva pierces its body with fine stylets and slowly extracts the nutrients, leaving behind only a fragile, empty shell. Perhaps we are witnessing the worm with the most perfect and unique hunting strategy in all of nature. The funnel it builds is designed so that any creature passing nearby slips and falls, and if its prey tries to escape, it flicks grains of sand with precision, forcing it to slide toward the center. The antlion larva, in this early stage, relies almost entirely on ants as its food source. That's why it builds its traps in loose, sandy soil, always near anthills, strategic places where prey never stops moving. After living as a hunting worm, it will transform into a true antlion. But to everyone's surprise, it will later seal itself inside a silk cocoon underground and eventually emerge as a winged adult, an elegant hunter soaring through the air in search of its final mission to ensure the survival of its kind. Few know this, but the antlion larva can hurl grains of sand with such speed and precision that its acceleration rivals that of a high-speed projectile, a true ambush machine in miniature. But sometimes prey are not what they seem, like this Campanotus, which refuses to give up and strikes back with a powerful bite, determined to defend itself. The larva, realizing it has underestimated its prey, has no choice but to release it. A decision driven by the fierce resistance of a warrior determined not to fall without a fight. While filming this incredible scene, I noticed something exceptional. Something that had been right next to me all along, yet had gone completely unnoticed until now. It was the first time I had ever seen a community of spiders living together on a milkweed plant. It was a small settlement of Lucage Celebesiana, something rarely seen in nature, since spiders are typically highly territorial creatures. Upon closer inspection, I could see three females and one male sharing the same space. An extraordinary scene where delicate webs intertwined among the milkweed leaves. They were feeding on the aphids infesting the milkweed. I never imagined that such a toxic plant could harbor so much life and diversity. Larger flying prey also fell into their invisible threads of silk. It was clear that this small colony was thriving. Few know this, but the webs of Lucage Calabasiana can reflect ultraviolet light, tricking prey into mistaking them for flowers or water droplets and luring them straight into their doom. The most surprising thing is that these spiders can adjust the tension of their web in real time, adapting it to the environment as if their trap were a living organism ready to respond.